transsexuals take it up a notch yeah. compared to the average woman. If I'm sitting on a train, I'm sitting next to the plain Jane wearing, you know, probably a, a little hat and glasses and hair in a bun. Or some braids. Next to me, like <laughs> looking like this, you know, the guys are going to flock to me. And then, you know, the, instead of looking at the biological everyday female, you yeah. know, so sometimes I've heard guys saying, you know, I know that's a tray. That she looked too good to be real. Yeah. Have you ever heard that, that phrase before? Mm-hmm. Um, I've kind of had my share recently. Um, I have some girlfriends that have been taking the plastic surgery, well, pushing that envelope, I should say. And at this point, I feel like, you know, I've got the breasts, I've got the booty, and I kind of want to, you know, venture out into some of that too. But I do believe that every woman still has imperfections, and some women kind of lose sight of that. They get so caught up in the insecurity and in the reminiscence of feeling like him. Mm -hmm. Even visually it's gone, but they still feel like a part of him is still there. So a lot of that has to do Psychologically, with they're, they're that, not there that homework yeah. that they have to work on, you know. Yeah. So a, a lot of my testimony is to the young transgender girls, and I just want to reach to them because I feel like at one point or another, I was I was that girl. You yeah, know we all were you, girl. Yeah, you have to kind of reach to yourself and, and build the security at home. And it starts with looking in the mirror and saying, I love me for who I am now. You know, before I decide to get any more plastic surgery. Because a lot of the girls, they lose sight of the reality and, and the but perfection. plastic surgery is below. such a big part of our story because of the fact that, you know, we were born male. Right. So exactly. therefore, it's a necessity for us you know, to achieve that female, mm -hmm. that female look. Yes. The genetics so a lot of girls are, are way striving. different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the thing too, a lot of people in this generation, they see us that are true trans women, mm -hmm. and they're like, you know, I'm not judging anyone, they're gay boys, and they're like, oh, I want that. And they'll try it for a month or two, get their breast implants, and then six months later, be like, they'll transition back. I'm, you yeah. know what? Because they would never bring yeah. the yeah. 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 oh. Some people feel like, oh, you know what? Some people, are, there's people that get dressed up for because there's three, there's girls that are trans and there's girls that just, there's gay males that just dress up because they want to you know do shows and you know or get the boys or have sex with guys we're not drag queens honey. instead of straight we're not drag queens. so um, <laughs> I think a lot of um, girls like you know I've heard I saw True Life and there was a transgender girl who she was trans and then she retransitioned back she got the breast implants removed and then she. Began, began living as a, because she felt like she was never going to find a man to accept her. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like, you know, we're never going to find a guy to accept us? I do say that sometimes it is a little bit harder for us than regular women to find love. You know? I feel like we have the same struggles as uh, fat girls. I feel like we have the same struggles when it comes to to dating out of, out of mm -hmm. grace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So honestly, I feel like everybody struggles with dating. I just feel like there is somebody out there for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, the timing just has to be right. And you honestly have to be ready for a spouse. You have to be ready to be in a relationship with yeah. someone. You know, a lot of the times you have to be girls- to receive that. Yeah, so a lot, of, yeah. a lot of the girls out there are, you know, working, which don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not the one to judge. But nevertheless, every girl is, is when not working, out there working in the industry or the you know being a, a film star or a porn star or you know doing escort. the things that they need to do as far as escorting and so on and so forth and what have you so at one point or another it's like nobody wants to genuinely be with someone that is being shared you know mm -hmm. they want that monogamous relationship so yet and still it's, it's for you to be ready for it and I think a lot of the girls they want their cake and they want to be able to eat it too they want their you dick know? to be able to suck it too yeah. <laughs> so another thing that um, that's been talked about recently is this new law called gender. Gender. That gender. 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 Yeah, yeah. Gender. Gender that has been passed. You no, no, it hasn't been passed yet. We're oh, trying to get it passed because okay. as transgender women, we have no rights. We're basically, we're not even in statistics. When yeah, they, we're when they do statistics, they put us in the gay male category. Yes. Men that have sex with men, we're not men that have sex with men, we're T, we're M, wait, M2F, we're M2F, mm -hmm. and there's no statistics of us in any category 
Like when they're saying how many people voted in here, there's no trans. We're not counting. We're not counted. We're not counted for exactly. So what gender will do is it will give us rights as trans, and um, we. It's a lot of people need to, you know, show up at these. Um, what is it like events, you know, to get it passed? And there's not enough trans people that are showing there's up. There's not enough support. There's not a lot support. of girls are more interested in turning dates, you know, doing, you know, escorting. Or not you know, getting their nails done. Not even that. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people yeah. are yeah. struggling yeah. being trans. You know, yeah. so it's like, you know, there there's people that are passionate about it, and there's people that are just caught up in other things. You yeah. know, but. So we need to all get together and try to stand for this because this protects us. If I walk to the store and somebody throws a bottle at me or something, I say it happens, but if it were to happen and I get hit in the head, they're going to just say that's a man throwing and she a to can me at a man, you know? Yeah. So it's nothing. So if, with, if with gender being passed, it would have, I would have rights yeah. when I go out, when I leave, you know, my apartment. So let me ask you something that brings to another subject that I wanted to talk about is lack of sisterhood within the transgender community. Mm -hmm. We have such a lack of sisterhood within the transgender community. I mean, yeah, we're here all together, right? You know, we but are. the fact is, is that there are so many girls in the in it's our community that we know is it's about competition. Who has the bigger very breasts? Nice who has the bigger, you know, yeah. body? Our, you was with that boy, so I want to have him too. I don't like that. Yeah. Girls that do that. There's yeah. so many men in the world to have someone that you know had. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's tacky. Yeah. A lot of girls are like that. Yeah, they do that. That's when they get tapped, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, a lot of girls are pressured to try to be like to race other girls into a certain look. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Gia, you know, you got work done, so I'm gonna go to the same doctor and and get it done bigger. Than girls. Girls. Yeah. Just to say. Oh, girl, did you notice anything new? You know, and make you try to make you feel away. I think we need to all just, just be happy with who we are, love ourselves. A few enhancements is fine, but do it for yourself. Don't exactly. do it to the try to match. battle the next girl. Like me, I'm I'm a B cup, you know, and I'm sitting next to a girl with double D, and I'm confident in my own ground. I'm not gonna go tomorrow and say, yeah, I gotta go get F's. I have to go get F's and I have to compete. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm comfortable with myself, and a lot of girls need to be comfortable in their own skin and love themselves, you know? Exactly. And stop chasing after another girl's image. But why why do you feel that we have such a lack of sisterhood? I mean Because of the insecurity. Insecurity jealousy. Insecurity. I think that's the number one rule mm -hmm. because I feel like if you don't love yourself, how are you gonna be able to love somebody else? And I think that just comes into play with a lot of different situations because all in all, like if you're unhappy, if you're bitter with your lifestyle and the way you're living, how could you appreciate someone else's? Yeah. You can't get past the side that it's not exactly. me. You yeah. know, because of that example, it's not set. Hmm. That is very Check interesting. Well, you know what? We have had and we've covered a lot of topics today. I would like to thank all of you ladies for coming here. Oh my God, thank and you for having me. I'm yes, so happy to be with and you guys. And being able to discuss all these topics. Yes. And I would like to thank you, the viewers. And for David Laugh, in. shout out. Dave, shout out to David Laugh for editing this and being our cinematographer. Yes. Yeah, he's an amazing photographer. Um, and you know, and we're gonna put our Facebook links for all you trans girls yes. that want to add us on Facebook, so uh, we can stay in touch. And possibly, if this goes well, if we just want to see more of us, we might do this on the regular. If if, if we all want to redo do that, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely. Sure. I don't yes. have to. so. Thank you all for joining us, and we Hi. will be back next, next time. time. <laughs> Bye.